Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. So just yesterday I got back from Paris. I was there with Makeup Forever. It was incredible. We were out there for the launch of their brand new product. It's a new powder foundation. So of course I'm gonna be using it in today's video. I've also got quite a few of the other products to use. They very kindly gave us loads of makeup while we we're out there. So I've got quite a lot. It's gonna be like almost a full face of Makeup Forever, but not quite. So I'm gonna zoom you in and get started on my skin. Primer, I'm gonna use the Hydra Booster from Makeup Forever. This is really nice for giving your skin that really nice hydrated base to work with. Skin's been kind of breaking out recently. Um, I've been traveling quite a lot and as soon as I get on a plane, my skin will just go crazy. Um, especially when I was coming back from New York, the air was like so dry and it's taken my skin like a week to get over it. Um, so I need all the hydration I can get. So the new product is actually a powder foundation, which when I first heard that, I was like, oh, interesting. I haven't used the powder foundation since the MAC Studio Fix powder days. And we all got the product to try a couple of days before it launched. They were so cool about it. They were like, we want your honest feedback. If you don't love it, that's fine, but we want to know why. Up Forever are obviously an artistry based brand. So they're very, very particular about formulas, how things are going to work, how they wear. A lot of love goes into their products. You can tell they're very tried and tested. And yeah, as I said, I was quite intrigued because it's not normally a formula I go for. I love the original Liquid HD Skin. The video with them using that when it came out, I absolutely love that. I had high hopes. And honestly, it amazed me. I think I might be like a powder foundation convert now, which I never thought I would say. There we go. Skin's primed, nice and glowy, slightly sticky. For my base today, I'm actually going to be using a mixture of the original Liquid HD Skin and the brand new Matte Velvet Powder version. They work perfectly together, so I'm going to be doing a little combo of the two. Starting with a very sheer layer of this just to give me a little bit of coverage to start with. The powder foundation is very buildable and you can definitely use it on its own. I want long lasting product but that's going to still have that glowiness to it so it's a really weird like row of spots here. I don't know what that could possibly be from. I'm just using the tiniest bit. I'm barely using any product at all. And then taking the powder foundation, this is the same shade as the liquid one I just used. I think while I was away I was using a shade down so I've actually just managed to find my exact shade match. I'm one of these little sponges so I'm going to start by using that. I'm just going to start patting that over the top. And I don't usually like the sponges that products come with but this is actually really really good. And see it's just adding that extra bit of coverage and dropping the shine out of my skin. See you know me, I don't love a really really matte skin look on me. So that's why I was a little bit dubious about trying this, but honestly, all the pictures that I took in Paris, my skin looked amazing. Um, it still has that dewiness. You'll be able to see at the end that your skin still has that really nice dewy look. It wears really nicely as well. It doesn't start separating or settling anywhere. Honestly, it just makes your skin look like velvet. I'm gonna go in and conceal underneath my eyes with the HD concealer. This is the shade 21. I know this looks so wrong, like concealing after you've done powder. Um, but I tried this the other day and it literally doesn't move the powder. So I'm going to use quite a bit because I want a nice bright under eye. We're going full coverage today, okay? In the Sephora 06 brush, I'm going to start buffing that into my skin. Using things from the same product family just makes your skin look amazing. They're obviously all designed with each other in mind. Like, look at that. So good. And I also use the foundation to just top up my makeup. So we were really busy kind of running between events and dinners and stuff. It was amazing. So... I needed my makeup to stay all day. Very versatile product, you can use it on its own, you can use it to top up your makeup, just add a little bit more coverage. A little bit of the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Medium One Custard. I like to just pat this down the sides of my nose, it just gives that extra layer of brightness, and then whatever's left, I'm just gonna lightly swipe over here. My hair's also fucking me off, it keeps flicking up. Long enough to kind of sit, but it's still short, so it flicks up and I'm hating it. And there we go, flawless base, still looks very natural. You can see that glow starting to come through, so it has that kind of matte velvety finish, but it's not really flat and drying. I'm obsessed with, I don't even know how they've achieved that with a powder formula, but it is perfect. I'm gonna bronze my skin up now with the Urban Decay Sunkiss Bronzer. I just love whenever I go to Paris, I feel like I meet the coolest people. Um, at the Makeup Forever party, I met loads of really, really cool people. There's a girl that I followed on TikTok for ages. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce her name because I will just butcher it with my accent, but I'll put a picture of her here. She has the best bleached brows ever. Her makeup is amazing and she was so sweet. I met loads of really cool people. It was so fun. It's the funniest thing where I've been traveling around a bit this month, how much people love a British accent because I think it is the worst thing ever. I love French accents, I love American accents. I just think British is just it's the bog standard accent. But I don't know if that's just because I have one. I think you never think your accent's nice. But yeah, we went back one night and had dinner at the hotel that I stayed in last time I was in Paris. What are we thinking? I don't think I've ever told this story on here or on Instagram or anything. When I was staying there, this was with YSL for the Dua Lipa party. The party and the hotel were in the same place. This was like a week before the hotel opened to the public. I was there with my manager, Lucia, and she'd gone out to go like clubbing. 
Um, I was really tired, so I was like, I'm just gonna go back to the room. You know, you've got a key, let yourself in. 1 a.m. in the morning, I heard the door go, so I thought, oh, it must be Lucia. I look up and it was this like six foot bald man, like just standing in the corner of our room. This just sums up how bad I would be in a survival situation. I didn't say anything, I didn't move, I just stared at him and he was just staring back at me and I was like, it was the weirdest thing. I called reception and I was like, a man has just walked into my room. You need a key to get in. So I was like, I'm just so confused how this man has got in my room. Funny in hindsight, not funny at the time. I ran up and locked the door and I was like, oh my God, Lucia, please come back. Yeah, so I would. So I thought I would just share that little story with you. That was a very, very strange night. Okay, all nice and bronze. So for blush, I'm gonna use the brand new NARS palette, the Orgasm Blush Quad. It's beautiful. I dropped my camera straight in it. So I'm gonna use like a mixture of this one and this one. I love the really peachy blushy tones. You have no idea where I'm going with this look. I'm kind of just really excited to use that new foundation and now I don't really know where I'm going with it. We also met Dani while we were in Paris. She is the founder of Makeup Forever. She's the coolest woman ever. I literally want to be her when I grow up. She's amazing. And it was really cool to hear from her, like bits about the brand and how she founded it and kind of the, the process that goes into creating products and really not trend driven at all, which I think now is quite hard to stay away from, but they've kind of managed to just stay very true to the brand, just stay very true to like the origins of the brand, it being about makeup, it's very genderless, it's just having fun with makeup, it's about artistry, but also for everyday use. And I feel like you can just tell the way the products sit on your skin, the way they wear, they last on the skin. I just feel like you can tell the love that's gone into them. I pop some freckles on and then we are done with skin. My new favorite skin combination ever. Now, well you can see that but it still looks like skin it still looks really natural it doesn't feel heavy I just assumed a powder foundation would feel really heavy on my skin and really drying but it literally feels amazing and it looks incredible so big 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 win from makeup forever love you skin's all done i'm gonna zoom you in again with my eyes i'm moving on to my eyes i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do but i think i'm gonna do something brown smoky take this little mini palette from makeup forever i used this in one of my reels a while ago um this is the 001 ginger palette and look at those shimmers, they are gorgeous. Start with this matte shade here. I'm just gonna go all over my lids with that. Into like quite a light eye and even a slightly lighter brow at the moment. I haven't actually put anything through my brows today and I'm kind of not hating it. Now taking the makeup by Mario Coal Liner in black. I'm gonna create a little wing. Just kind of pushing it into the lash line along there. And then I'm also just gonna tight line along the bottom. Taking this rich burgundy shade here, a little brush, I'm gonna start buffing out the wing. And I just wanna start warming it up slightly just so that blend is a little bit warmer than the black. And I'll most likely go in and redefine the black at the end, but it's just a good starting point to have. So taking a slightly bigger brush and this slightly lighter brown, I'm just gonna bring that into the crease. just buffing that brown underneath back in with the black and just redefining and then just buffing that into the brown it's gonna keep going back and forth and just darkening up and then just taking a bit of that concealer from before I'm gonna sharpen that I feel like it's so much quicker on the other side because I've kind of figured out what to do Love a warm, like smoky cat eye. I think it looks good with every eye color. Um, especially if like bluey green eyes, just adding a bit of warmth in, just makes your eyes pop. The Mina mascara. This is the 900 24 hour level up. I've been loving this. I've been using it every single day. A slightly drier formula, which I'm obsessed with. The mascaras are just a bit too wet when you first get them, and they just weigh your lashes down. But this is so so nice. So really buildable as well, without feeling heavy. We go like the quickest, easiest lashes ever. I'm looking, I feel like I need to do my brows. They either need to be like fully not there or there. We need to pick a side. Actually brush a little bit of concealer through them. I know I did a bleach brow look before, but I just love that. It just makes the focus on your eyes. My hair's so dark, it makes your eyes stand out more. So, oh yeah. I feel like that's made it like a look that's brought everything together. Just lips to go and then we're done. 606 whatever walnut and this is... 608 Limitless Brown. I want quite a brown nudie lip. So I start with the slightly pinker nude. And I'm just gonna line my lips with that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the slightly deeper brown around the edges. 
looking a bit mental, but bear with one minute. Finishing off with the Patrick Tar Superficial Gloss. I love this. And there we go, that is the finished look. You can see now that foundation's like settling into my skin, it's kind of a bit more lived in. A very airbrushed, flawless finish, but it's still got a really nice glow and still looks like skin. I'm a big, big, big fan of that foundation. I feel like I'm gonna be using that for a very long time. If you are into your powder foundations, you will absolutely love that. If you're not, like I wasn't, I think this is like the perfect transition. It's still got that really nice glow to it, still looks like skin, but just kind of a little bit more airbrushed and obviously it lasts forever. So yeah. Love that. I love when you try something new and it actually works. That's incredible. Yeah, that is the finished look for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here as always. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I will see you all very soon. Love you.